Ever wondered how games like Red Alert handle hundreds of units on the screen without crashing? It's because of the flyweight pattern, and without it, most games would be unplayable. In Red Alert 2, every GI unit for the Allies has the same weapon stats, model, sound effects, animations. But each unit also has its own information, like health and position. Imagine you train 100 soldiers. Without the flyweight pattern, the game would create 100 copies of the soldier unit, each with its own weapon stats, textures and sound files. Your system would run out of memory fast, and the game would grind to a halt. This is where the flyweight pattern comes in. Instead of creating separate objects for each soldier, intrinsic state is extracted, the shared data, and made immutable. Weapon stats, sprite sheets, sound files, animations, all the stuff that doesn't change gets stored once and reused across all the soldiers. A flyweight factory will then manage the pool of shared objects. When a new soldier is trained, the factory gets the shared flyweight object from its pool or creates one if it's needed and creates the new unit referencing the shared data along with its own unique states. The only data stored separately is the extrinsic state, like health and position, since that is unique to each soldier. So instead of creating 100 copies of everything, you have one shared soldier instance and 100 sets of lightweight objects with unique data. That's less memory, more units, better performance. That's the power of the flyweight pattern. Oh.